my god, oh 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 my god. What's up, people? It's your boy Cyrac in here. Today, July 23rd, Square Enix just dropped a bomb. Rise of the Tomb Raider was announced for PC and PS4 for 2016. Wow. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Great news. Yes. Oh, yeah. Is that news that great? I don't think so, man. And I explain right. First, okay, that news only good so we can rub it on x twat face. You know people like uh, Crab Gamer who been telling shit like, well, Spence Spencer said I wouldn't pay for a game so the competition can have it now. <laughs> Would I do that? <laughs> wow. <laughs> It's only good for those people. Why? For me, that news, it's nothing special. Beside fucking with x what brands. First, something bad happened between Microsoft and Square Enix. Why would, would I say that? <laughs> Maybe because that game haven't launched on the Xbox machine yet. So it's not normal. They have to announce it that soon. It's not normal. Something bad happened. But yet again, if I was a Xbox fanboy or even an uh, an X twat today, I will feel betrayal. Yep, because you are betrayed, guy, by both Microsoft for lying to you and Square Enix. But we, the smart gamers, already knew. We saw it coming. We already knew about this. Okay? The key words was exclusive holiday 2015. Exclusive 20... Exclusive holiday 2015, right? <laughs> Meaning by 2016, it's a new year. Deals is soft, sucker. But why I'm not jumping like everybody and say, oh my God. First, this is Tomb Raider. Okay? That man, why I'm not jumping on it, on that news that it was the greatest news of all time. By the time that game come on PS4, it will be on Xbox 360, Xbox One, PC. <laughs> and by the time it come out on a console, we'll get Nintendo Collection. And we all know we're going to get Uncharted 4. But what happens, Square Enix, now? I think you, you just change to panic mode. You just realize you sign a deal with the bad people. Because when, probably when you sign that deal, you motherfuckers was there thinking, Xbox will destroy PlayStation. Like every suckers out there. Like the Crytek of this world. Well, like the Capcom of this world. <laughs> Like the EA of this world. Now you is a, you you just realize how bad that deal was. You maybe check those pre-orders numbers. Ooh, they not level up. Mm -mm. You probably check. Oh shit! November ten, Fallout Four coming out. We're going, to, we're going to get destroyed. Call of Duty coming out. <laughs> Halo coming out. It's Assassin's Creed. And by the time just cause your own game come out in December, no one will be talking about Tomb Raider. But now you're acting like, I will survive. <laughs> Yo. Like I said already, I'm happy that Square Enix are giving us some new JRPG and stuff like that, okay? I'm happy. I'm more than happy so we can get those games and stuff like that. But, sorry, man. 
What you telling me now it's Xbox in the game. Okay. Then early 2016. PC is getting it. And we PlayStation fan. Your most dedicated fan. Supposed to wait a year. Yeah, I understand. There was a deal. The deal is uh, to no, lock down the game for one year. You did fuck up. I got this part. But first, you should have learned to shut the fuck up at least now. You already fuck up. <laughs> Swallow the goddamn pills and shut the fuck up. Release the game on the Xbox consoles. Then wait. Maybe two, three months after, open your damn mouth. And release the game at the same fucking time for both PC and PS4. No, this is not what you do. Okay? Xbox deal, fine. Then it come on PC, fine. Now you expect us to wait 12 fucking months. Spoil free from PC gamers and Xbox gamers? I don't care you're charging 40 bucks for it. We just don't fucking care. Okay? <laughs> All I see today, I saw my place, my fellow PlayStation gamers and fanboys. All they've been doing is rubbing the news on Xbox One, on Xbox uh, fan base and Xbox fanboys face. People like crap gamer. People like Zaire. Actually, big up to Zaire on this one. Because unlike crap gamer, Is pissed as Microsoft for lying to him about Tomb Raider. But once again, like I said, we're gamers, we're smart people, knew we saw it coming. Oh, exclusive holiday 2015. That those always been the fucking keywords. But sorry, I should be jumping and wait to play your game when I get when we're getting uncharted. When by the holiday of 2016, if we, it's not uh, getting delayed, we're going to get. Horizon down zero? Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> so Square Enix, now you're on panic mode. You realize that you did fucked up. That Xbox not the fan base for your franchise. And you just kill it. Now you're going to act like Xbox is your fucking sh sugar mammy. PC is your motherfucking side bitch. And what? You think the PlayStation fan base? It's the crackhead hoe. Uh, you getting on a, on the corner on the street for a quick deck suck? No, fuck you. Yeah. I'm okay if to all the RPG I will buy them, but no, you should have learned to shut the fuck up. Okay, you nail the fucking coffin. Even more because every game going to destroy Tomb Raider. See you next time. Bye-bye.